When it comes to motoring holidays, Australia certainly is the lucky country. Most of the time you can just jump in the family car and head off, but sometimes you need a vehicle more suited to the task at hand. I picked up a Vajero four-wheel drive from the thrifty office in Darwin, and now I'm going to spend a day out here in the bush. Travelling out on the bitumen allows time to familiarise yourself with the vehicle, to get to know where all the controls are, how it handles and how to engage four-wheel drive. Then it's time to take it onto the dirt, where a four-wheel drive really comes into its own. I think one of the advantages of having a four-wheel drive, even if you're not a mad keen off-roader or four-wheel driver, is that it does allow you to get off the main roads, off the bitumen, onto some of the minor unsealed roads, where there are some very special places and you might not feel too comfortable travelling there in a conventional vehicle. In a vehicle like this with uh, high ground clearance, automatic air-conditioned comfort, you can get to these places more safely and comfortably. So I've arrived at Dundee Beach. If you're travelling west of Darwin, this is the end of the road. The Dundee Beach area is not well known outside of the top end, but to the locals it's a great place to catch queenfish, trevally and of course barra. From Dundee Beach I headed back east and then south towards Litchfield National Park. I was coming into Litchfield Park on the back road from Dundee and I've come across this narrow little track that just wanders off the main road for, for a distance through a very extensive field of magnetic termite mounds. Now it's quite rough in parts and dusty and I, it's not the sort of place I'd really want to be bringing the family car but a vehicle like this is just ideal. Then it was time to head to one of my favourite places in the top end. I'm at Florence Falls in Litchfield Park. Now you can get to the falls on a bitumen road, no problem at all, in a conventional vehicle. But there's a really nice walk up the creek that goes from the bottom campground. And to get to that, you need to take this four-wheel drive track. And although it's not particularly difficult, it's certainly not suitable for conventional vehicles. Spring fed, Florence Falls runs all year round. And it's a great place to end a day in the bush. To get to most places in Australia, you don't need a four-wheel drive. A conventional vehicle will do. But on those occasions where you're going away for a day or two or even longer to areas where there's unsealed roads or, or rough roads, it's nice to have a sturdy vehicle like this. Now, most people aren't going to need a four-wheel drive all of the time, but when you do, you can always hire.